All right, my beautiful loves. So I was not feeling well yesterday, so this is going out super late. So this is going to be uh, your daily for the 18th, and then the daily for the 19th is going to go out a little bit later on today, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Let me get my little paper stuff and things here so I can write this down. Okay. I am very unprepared. <laughs> I am super unprepared. <laughs> okay, let's just move this. All right. Moving on. We're going to start at 54. Cancer. All right, so let's see what we have here for my beautiful Cancers dealing with another Cancer, okay? October 18th, Cancer dealing with another Cancer, please. All right, so we've got the full card, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Swords, and the Moon, Cancer Piscean Energy. Cancer, I feel like if you're dealing with another Cancer, you have decided to take a leap of faith with this person. Um, I feel like you feel drawn to this person. I feel like you feel divinely guided to this person. Um, but just be careful that you're, you know, because soulmates sometimes come in to teach us a lesson. They're not always meant to stay. Just be careful that, you know what I'm saying, you're, you're, you're not... Uh, wearing rose-colored glasses, okay? Make sure that you see this person for what they truly are, Cancer, okay? I'm not saying anything bad. I'm not saying, all I'm saying is don't glorify this person to be something that they're not, okay? Because with the Wheel of Fortune, you could be, you could have a strong soul tie to a karmic. You could have a strong soul, a strong soul tie um, to a soulmate that's just here to keep you, a le you know, teach you a lesson. So beware, you know, for the signs and the signals, the red flags, okay? So make sure that you're you're not jumping too quickly. Okay. Okay. Oh, my voice just jumped out. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here for my beautiful Cancers dealing with a Scorpio, please. October 18th, Cancer dealing with Scorpio, please. So we have the Three of Pentacles and we've got the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Oh, goodness. Cancer, if you are dealing with a Scorpio, things may be moving very quickly. They are very, very sexually attracted to you, okay? Um, but I feel like this is somebody that really wants to make things work with you, okay? They really want to make things work with you. This per person has, you know, they see you as lo loving, kind, caring, affectionate, very hot, very sexy. They really want to. Now, if you're on the outs with a Scorpio, they are coming in to work it out. Okay, there's this person ain't going nowhere. Look, the Knight of Cups under the deck. There's that Scorpio on a horse. You know what I'm saying? Rushing towards you. Okay. All right, moving forward. All right, my loves, let's see here if you are a Cancer dealing with a Pisces, October 18th, the Judgment card, Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. Okay, um, Cancer, if you are dealing with a Pisces, so if you're expecting an apology from a Pisces, it's coming. Okay, it's coming. So if you're waiting for communication and a second chance with a Pisces, it's coming. Now for others of you, if you are in a newer type of relationship and somebody is making promises and they'll they're telling you that you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if they're telling you that, you know, they've made a decision that they want to do this or that, you know, move in, get married, do whatever, but, you know, in the future, okay, they mean it. I feel like if this person tells you, listen, I do want to marry you, but, you know, first I want to do this, I want to get my business together or whatever, they mean it, okay? This per You are in this person's long-term plans, okay? Yeah, see, Four of Swords, rest easy, okay? Rest easy that this person is going to fulfill their promises, all right. If you are a Cancer dealing with a Virgo, October 18th. Cancer dealing with a Virgo, October 18th. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. We've got the World card. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. 
And we've got the Nine of Cups. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Virgo, if you're dealing with a Virgo, either you're in a very new relationship with a Virgo and it's going to be life changing and this is going to be everything you could have possibly wanted in a person. Or if you're dealing with a Virgo, somebody is coming back around and the dynamics of the relationship have shifted where a chapter of the relationship is over and this person is now coming back to give you wish fulfillment and truly work on the connection. Um, I feel like Cancer, for many of you, if you're dealing with a Virgo, you may have separated yourself self and shown this person that you're perfectly fine on your own, okay? Um, you know, or vice versa, okay? Moving on to... All right, if we are a Cancer dealing with a Taurus, if we are a Cancer dealing with a Taurus. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Cancer, if you are dealing with a Taurus here, I feel like someone here um, was quite possibly talking to somebody else while they were in a relationship with you. So while one connection, your connection was starting to become more emotionally disconnected, they were already pursuing another relationship. With the Seven of Swords here, um, this person is dipping off to go to another situation. Now, Taurus, that could be give a Virgo uh, cancer that could be you that could be your person okay so someone here you know your relationship was you know a little rocky and they ran off to be with someone else okay all right so let's see here six So my beautiful cancers dealing with a Capricorn please October 18th we've got the four of Pentacles we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Five of Cups, and we've got the Ten of Cups. Okay, so Cancer, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, um, you could be married to this person, you could, um, you know, be engaged to this person, whatever it is, you and this person had planned a long term life together. Okay. And I feel now with that four of pentacles, that ace of wands and that five of cups, that new beginning, that life is not going to happen. So whatever plans um, that were supposed to happen aren't happening. Now, another thing I'm feeling here is cancer. If you were with a Capricorn that had a family, um, and maybe this person told you that they were in separation or that them and this person were fighting, um, refrain from, uh, refrain from having sex with this person because they're going to end up reconciling with their, their main person. Okay. Yeah. See, look, I'm seeing the emperor and the empress under the deck. Okay. Someone here may just be trying to make someone jealous or, um, you know, th this person may be really, really committed elsewhere. Okay. And you don't want to regret that and get hurt. All right. Um, eight, 20. Okay. All right. My beautiful cancers dealing with a Leo, please. Holy spirit for October 18th. Cancers dealing with a Leo, October 18th. So we've got the three of swords. We have the five of swords. We have the nine of wands and we've got the two of pentacles. Uh, Cancer, if you are dealing with a Leo, I feel like some very ugly things are being said here. Um, I feel like there's about to be a fight and, you know, Mercury retrograde does this. You tend to say things that, you know, can't be taken back sometimes. Someone here has been hurt to the point where you just don't know if it's going to work with this person anymore, okay? Now, it could be you saying something. It could be them. I don't know. But some, it's, it's like crossing the line type of energy, okay? All right. For my Cancers dealing with an Aries, please. Cancerians dealing with Aries, please. Spirit, October 18th. Okay. Queen of Wands. The Three of Cups. The Four of Cups. And the Chariot. Cancer, if you are dealing with an Aries, I feel like this person is tr wants to reconcile with you, but they're afraid of rejection or they're very lonely and they want to move towards you. 
Um, now, for others of you that are dealing with an Aries, okay, um, this could be a third party situation and someone here needs to choose between you or someone else. This person possibly finds you very attractive and they're kind of like upset and keeping to themselves because they don't know what choice to make, okay? They might have to choose between you and someone else. But if it's a matter of reconciliation, they do want to come in, but they're either afraid of being rejected um, or this person is so getting to the point where they're so lonely and missing you that they're about to come forward, okay? Okay, so if we are a Cancer dealing with a Sag, Cancer dealing with a Sag, October 18th. We have the Six of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Justice card. Okay, so Cancer, if you're dealing with a Sag, I feel like something here from the past, like, um, how can I put it? You've known this person for a long time. You've known this person for a long time. And I feel like with the Justice card, you know, you and you might have been through a lot with this person and it's paying off now. It's paying off now. So, you know, if you've been hurt by this person or things have been very rocky and very up and down, okay, this is someone you already know. This is not a new person, okay? Um, I, I feel like things are finally going to start to get better. Okay. Um, so if this person didn't want to like maybe put you on social media or tell everyone that you were their girlfriend and boyfriend, that's going to change. Like, do you see what I'm saying with that 10 of pentacles? Th this person is finally deciding to do right by you. Okay. All right. Um, 1135 for aqua. Okay. Spirit, tell me about my Cancerians dealing with an Aquarius, please. Cancerians dealing with an Aquarius. We have the Six of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Wands. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, someone here is about to get left behind and be very jealous because someone here is choosing to move on to new love okay so for instance if you like someone here is moving very quickly into something new okay so if you got into a fight with an Aquarius they're gonna walk out and immediately be in another relationship by tomorrow and it is gonna spark some levels of jealousy now you know I don't know Aquarius, you know, Cancer, you might walk out on an Aquarius, but there's going to be jealousy here because someone's just leaving and going right towards another connection. Okay. All right. So 12. Okay. So Cancer, if you are dealing with a Libra, Cancerians dealing with a Libra, please spirit. Okay. Four of wands, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, the Four of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Cancer, if you are dealing with a Libra, you need to rest easy because this is either a divinely guided soul tie, very strong commitment energy. Someone here may be asking you to marry them. You may be finding out that you're about to have a baby. Um, rest easy because this person is committed. Okay, they are committed. And if you're not speaking to this person, they're coming in to commit. Um, or if you've just met this person, it's moving forward very quickly quickly this is a strong committed relationship okay um 1320 spirit tell me about my cancers dealing with a gemini please cancers dealing with a gemini we have the death card the eight of swords the M oh, excuse me the king of wands and the knight of swords Cancer, if you are dealing with a Gemini, I feel like there was an ending that took place here, but this person is still very upset over it. They're still very in their head about it. And someone here may make some very reckless decisions based on ego. So for example, if you're breaking up with a Gemini, this person may be so hurt and in their head about it that they may um, like post pictures of them with another guy or another girl or date someone very quickly after you or have, you know, a rebound or a one night stand with somebody. Okay. Um, I feel like this is somebody that kind of is going to act very recklessly or impulsively because they're so caught up over this, this ending, you know what I'm saying? Or something changing in the connection. All right. Okay, so 1434, career and finance. Okay, Spirit, tell me about career and finance for Cancer. October 18th, career and finance for Cancer. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. 
the lover's card, the devil card, and the tower. Okay. Cancer, I feel like things are about to break for you in the financial department. If you've been going through a very hard time, things are going to start to change for you. Okay. And I feel that your relationships are going to be better. More customers are going to be coming in. Coworkers are going to like you better. It's just, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. You're just standing out. You're, you're really going to start to do well. Be careful though, because with that devil card and that tower, um, I, I feel here that you may have people, especially with the lover's card there, uh, you may have people that are smiling in your face, pretending to be your friend, that are very jealous of you and want to see you fail. Okay, so if you are doing as soon as you start doing well financially or if you are doing well financially, be careful because there are people that want to see you fail. So protect your energy and protect your income. Okay, all right. So 1545. Okay, what spiritual messages do we have today for cancer, please? Oh, we got the emperor. Okay, spiritual messages for cancer, please. Spiritual messages for cancer. The magician. The high priestess oh wow and the hermit cancer i feel like you are about to take some time out and become a master at manifestation um and your spiritual work so if you guys are you know christian let's just say and you're looking on how to become a spiritual warrior for spiritual warfare you're gonna kill it um if you're into wicca or witchcraft you're gonna kill it if you're just learning how to pray and manifest you're gonna kill it okay you are really about to take some time out and truly analyze your spiritual journey and it's gonna lead you to emperor mode Okay, so you're about to spiritually uh, hang on tight because you're about to spiritually ascend like hardcore. Okay, all right, so let's see here 1650. All right, let's see what the advice here is for the day for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Advice for the day Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Swords. And the hanged band, Piscean energy. Um, so Cancer, if you're, I feel like you're waiting for something here. You're waiting for something to happen and it's stressing you out, okay? Um, to the point where you're going to feel exhausted, overburdened, okay? You might not be talking to somebody, all right? But Cancer, this person is watching you, okay? This person is watching you um, with the Page of Swords and the King of Swords. They are watching you even if they're not talking to you. And with the Page of Cups, the Sun, and the Empress, I do feel like communication is going to come in. You are still the person, you know, you are still the person of their heart, do I want to say, okay? Um, all right, I love you guys and take care. Bye.